In this video, we will show you how to submit a support ticket or report an issue to SkewGrid's support staff. If you have a technical issue or question, you should always direct your questions, concerns, or issues to SkewGrid's support staff. There are several easy ways to submit a support ticket. Each item in your grid has a link next to it that says Report. Clicking that link will take you to a form where you can submit a request for assistance. Although there is a link on each individual item, it does not forward the item ID or ASIN in the ticket. So be sure to mention it in the body of your message. Fill out the form with as much detail as possible. By default, your email address will be filled in as the requester. At a minimum, you should fill in the subject, your username, and select the product that the ticket is referring to. In this case, that would be SkewGrid. Select the type of ticket. There's an option for question, problem, or feature request. Next, fill in the description. Provide as much detail as possible. Simply saying it doesn't work isn't clear and will result in support having to go back and forth to learn the details. By providing as much information as you can, such as the eBay item number or ASIN that is involved and a description of the problem, you will be saving both yourself and support staff time and support will be able to better assist you. You also have the ability to insert images into the description if you like to provide a screenshot or you can attach files as well. When you've finished filling out the form, click the submit button. You will receive an email notification that your ticket has been submitted. You can expect a response within 24 hours. Please note, if this is your first time submitting a support ticket, you will receive an email asking you to activate your account for the SKU Grid support portal. Be sure to locate that email and click the activation link. Once you click the activation link, simply finish by registering for an account with the same email address that you use to submit the ticket. Once you have activated your support portal account, you will have access to all of your previous support tickets so that you can check the status and follow up. If you do not see the activation email in your inbox, be sure to check your spam or junk mail folders for it. Going back to the My Items tab of SkewGrid, you also have the ability to just click the Support tab and that will take you directly to the SkewGrid support portal where you can submit a ticket as well. Be sure to include all of the information previously discussed. Another great feature of SkewGrid is at the bottom of any page within your SkewGrid account, you will see a chat bubble that says, have a quick question. You can click this chat bubble and enter into live chat if a live chat agent is online and not helping other customers at the moment. If no one is available, you can still type in your message and it will automatically be converted into a support ticket that will be answered by support staff as soon as possible. Naturally, questions come up and technical issues can happen from time to time. Please don't hesitate to reach out to support as they will be your best resource for accurate information. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.